Hey YouTubers, Warren Tropmovic. You guys, this video is going to be a question and answers about the two videos I made on making grounding mat and testing a grounding mat. I made it a couple years ago and been probably my most popular videos I've made in a long time. The problem is I've gotten tons and tons of questions and they're kind of repetitive. I think a lot of people use phones or mobile devices and they're not able to access to questions and answers in the comment section. So today I thought I'd go over the most commonly asked questions and maybe that could help some of the viewers. The One of the top questions I've gotten was why didn't I use a resistor when making my grounding mat? I didn't use one because I didn't think it was necessary. I, I tested my receptacle to see that it was safe and I removed the prongs from my plug so it was only into the ground so at the time, I didn't think it was a problem. So that's why I didn't use it. Another person asked, why didn't I use a green wire? This is the wire used here to make my grounding mat. I use a red one. I wasn't thinking electronically, uh, but the green wires are just as cheap as the red wires and green means the ground. So the person had a good point. You want to get into the habit of uh, working safe and it would have been uh, going along, along with the, uh, the commonly used practices of using a green wire for ground. So the, I didn't use a red wire for any reason other than I just purchased a wire the size I needed. I wasn't thinking about the color. Uh, how do I add a resistor? Now I didn't add one, but if I was going to add one, I go onto YouTube and look at some of the videos where they show how to add a resistor in a line with a wire. There's several on there that are very simple easy to use with a, uh, a little uh, uh, soldering iron. What size resistor would I have used? If I had used one, it probably would have been 100K. Um, uh, they're relatively inexpensive. You can get them at uh, uh, Radio Shack and stuff. I think you can buy them on Amazon for a few of them for just a couple bucks. Why did I use the wire I used? I think this is 16 gauge. I could have used 14 gauge, a little thicker. You want to use the wire for the intended purpose. And since this was just a ground to the metal screen, I didn't think I needed anything thicker or thinner. But if you'd have something a little thicker or thinner, it probably isn't going to matter. Um, why didn't I use the same metals to reduce corrosion? When I made my screen, I attached it with a machine screw and some washers that were a different metal and that will create with the copper wire like galvanic reaction over time uh, there's a, a liquid you can add to dissimilar metals when you're making the electronic things I think it's called NOx and it'll uh, allow uh, everything to uh, transmit elect electrons but it'll stop a corrosion quite a bit um, but I didn't have it and this was really an experiment to see if it worked. It wasn't like a, a super long-term project, but uh, you can use something, uh, like I said, no ox and other things that will reduce corrosion dramatically. Um, would a pipe in the ground have been better or safer? I actually think a pipe in the ground would be not only better, it'd be the simplest um, but I live in an apartment. I'm up several floors and I'm not allowed to have things outside the window So it wouldn't have been possible for me, but I think overall Having a pipe in the ground or maybe even uh, several like an array of them uh, Would be probably safer than plugging into the uh, electrical system or to your plumbing um, Do I think <laughs> once again do I think a resistor is needed? You know what? Uh, after reading the comments and thinking about it, since it looks like it's such a simple project to add a resistor and they're relatively inexpensive, if I was to do it again, I would definitely spend the dollar or two and just add the resistor. Should I have reinforced the plug after removing two prongs? I thought about that. I could get some plastic strips that are stiff and just uh, epoxy or glue them in there. So when I put this into the socket there'd be something else keeping it uh stable and safe from coming out 
Um, it's not a bad idea. Could I use an anti-static wrist strap? Some of you are familiar where they have wrist straps that you attach to a ground that when you're working on electronic equipment. But that's to keep uh, a, uh, a, a ground charge coming uh, from the ground into you and then through you into your uh, equipment. So I don't think this would work. Now, like I'm not an electrician. I'm not trying to play one on YouTube. And anything I say is coming from someone who's just a rank beginning hobbyist when it comes to electronics. Electronics is the, the least competent area of uh, do-it-yourself when it uh, comes to myself and the videos I make. But I don't think an anti-static wrist strap would work. How common are grounding mat injuries? I did some research. In fact, I used uh, ChatGPT, and they only came across two injuries. And so I don't think grounding mat injuries are that common, but it's like a rare disease. If you get it, it's not rare. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to be the third person in the ChatGPT search for how common are grounding mat injuries. So when you, if you build this, you want to get additional information because I'm not telling you that you should build any of this. I'm just telling you what I did as a jumping off point, a starting point for where you can gather more information to make up your own mind. Would adding a fuse or surge protector be a good idea? I don't know if a fuse would work or not. Um, but it seems to me like both of them are, are, are uh, reasonable ideas. I don't know enough about it to say yes or no, um, or even how to hook up a surge protector to this. So uh, I, I, I know they have something called I think it's GFIC, it's interrupter uh, connection they use like uh, around the marine environment and stuff where you don't want any shorts where people could hurt and they, they automatically stop if there's any current detected immediately. So they have things that, that would be super safe, but I'm not competent enough to tell you about them, how to use them or to build them or to connect them. But there are things other than resistors that could be used, I think, to make it even more safe. How do I tell if my screen is coated or, or uh, corroded? That's very simple. With the, uh, with the meter, you would just put it on uh, ohms, put it on the uh, put it on the sound part, and then just take something you want to see if it's got any continuity. See, like you shouldn't have anything. So what I'm getting at is if this was coated with a plastic, you wouldn't be able to get a reading. Or if it was corroded, if it was aluminum and had a corrosion on there and it wasn't reading, then you wouldn't want to use this as a grounding mat because you wouldn't be able to uh, have the flow going to where it would be effective. Can I use any metal or wire? Well, most metals that I know they're all uh, conductive. So basically you want something that's conductive that's going to conduct the electrons. So uh, I think, yeah, you could use any metal. I just use copper. I could have used aluminum, uh, but that they're most common the most inexpensive. Uh, some people, they would use like for outdoors, they'd use like a zinc anode into the ground instead of copper. That might be even more conductive. Are all electrical systems grounded? Um, no, they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be uh, built to code. And I think code everywhere has your electrical system somewhere connected to a ground that's connected to a pipe in the ground somewhere in your house or your building. But that doesn't mean they are grounded. So you have to check to make sure. What happens if lightning strikes? Hopefully nothing because I'm not going to use this if Let's say I go to bed at night. I'm not going to use it because if a, a storm comes, I won't know. Or if I'm, I'm a, in the daytime, what I do is I use windy.com and I check the weather. And if there's any rain forecast, even if it says there's no lightning, if there's rain forecast, I don't use this. And I don't sleep with it. So 
I don't know what lightning would do, and I don't know what you could do to guarantee 100% you'd be safe from lightning. So what I do is I don't use it if there is lightning or a possibility of lightning. And like I said, windy.com is one of the best weather apps I've ever seen. You can put it on your phone or your computer. It will give you a forecast of days, but you can check the weather ahead of time to make sure there's no rain coming. Um, so it's you can put in your zip code and you're, you're done. You can find out what's happening for up to five days in your area. So you just, what happens if lightning strikes? I don't know what's going to happen and I don't want to find out. So the best method of dealing with lightning is just to not have to deal with it. Just don't hook up anything to where you'd be connected with the strike. Why did I buy this receptacle tester since I have a multi-tester? Well, I bought this because it's so simple. There's no batteries. You just plug it in, then you look at the lights and the lights tell you what your problem is or if it's okay or not. If you have these two lights on, it's okay. And it does more than one thing. So the tester, if you know what you're doing, you can do the same as this, but this is, is, is foolproof and it's quick. You can go around the house and in a couple of minutes you're done. Where this, you could still be hoping you got the right connection and you were, you, you were uh, in, in uh, solid with the metal and you, know, you didn't get a bad reading where this, and you put it in your pocket, take with you, you go to a hotel or whatever, you can check the, uh, the receptacles there before you use your mat. Maybe you've got a, a commercial one you bought, you can take with you and then just plug in to the socket, just like the one you built. This solves a lot of problems quickly inexpensive, no batteries, nothing to crow, nothing to break, nothing to wear out. This should last a really long time. I think it was eight bucks. Could I have attached my wire to the plumbing? Yes, I could. From what I understand, I think I could have if I uh, attached to the cold water pipe. Usually I think they are also grounded. Uh, obviously they're going into the ground, but I I didn't do that because I, I wasn't sure and I just went with what I thought was the best at the time. But if you know for sure your plumbing is grounded, it might be safer than using your electrical system if you're in an apartment building because you never know what your neighbors are up to. In fact, when I, when I got my receptacle test, I tested all my receptacles and I found two or three of them that were wired improperly. Could I use an anti-static mat? I'm not an expert, but what I've been told after I did some research is an anti-static mat has a resistor that is so big that it's not effective for this purpose. Why do some people uh, leave comments that they're not getting any reading with their meter? Because there's one part of the testing in the video I made on testing that you're going to be measuring milliamps. And if you have a an analog meter, it's going to be very difficult with this one to measure the milliamps down to the amount we want to read. That's why I recommended getting a more accurate one, or not, not accurate, but more accurate, but, but able to read at a smaller level. I think this was like 20 bucks, and this was like 12 years and years ago. Did, oh, why didn't I use window screen? I didn't use window screen because uh, for some reason I wanted to purchase some copper screen to, for another experiment. So I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. I cut this in half. So I had two pieces of screen. I used the one piece to make the mat and I had the copper screen left over. But I could have used a plain uh, scrap window screen so long as I tested it to make sure it wasn't coated or corroded and it was still functional as far as uh, being able to transmit the, uh, the electrical current. So yes, I could have used the window screen. Didn't the mat work for me? Initially, it did seem to work. I did seem to get better sleep. Not, not dramatically, but definitely I could see a difference. However, there was a couple times because the cord was running across the floor that I almost, actually I, did, I didn't almost, I tripped over twice. And one time I almost uh, had a problem. So I said, I, I just stopped using it for a while. Then I got out of the habit and I just stopped using it. But I couldn't see any downsides to not trying it 
because it didn't seem to have any negative effects. Uh, and there were so many positives. And so many people that have built theirs or purchased theirs have uh, said they got positive results from using it, more energy and so on. Uh, two questions. Am I an electrician? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me repeat that. Am I an electrician? No. So um, do not take my advice. In fact, you don't want to take my advice. This is what I did. You can use this information to help you do research about making up your own mind. Uh, but um, no, I am not an electrician. And am I responsible for any problems, mishaps, or injuries? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, this is for information purposes only and uh, hopefully it helps people to start their own journey about uh, thinking about making their own or, or buying one and trying it out themselves. So I hope this was helpful to you guys and that you go watch the other two videos if you haven't seen them already and I'll leave a link to the stuff that I purchased on Amazon. That always helps me out. I appreciate it. Um, for some reason, I like getting money. <laughs> uh, and not only just making YouTube videos. So guys, put on new stuff every week. Been doing it for 16 years. Got over 1,200 videos. And it's a variety channel. New stuff all the time. You never know what you're going to find. So if you like variety channels, you want to stick around. If you don't like variety channels, you don't want to subscribe. Because who knows what we're going to have next week. We could have sandwich toasters. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. See you out there.